<clears throat> so I just want to share with you the strongest tea that I've ever made to date and show you my pretty little kitchen. Yummy! I'm making it prettier and more creatively decorative, even the way I like dry things. <sighs> this tea is almighty, it's like crazy. There's like ju jujube berries, um, also known as Chinese red dates in there. That's the brown pieces you're looking at on the spoon are um, reishi mushrooms. The red berries you see are goji berries. And that powder, I blended a lot of the ingredients before. Uh, that powder is a mix of, what's it called? Um, Hoshi Wu and goji berries blended. And the special, so a lot of, fair bit of Hoshi Wu, fair bit of goji berries and a lot of shizandra berries <laughs> these are like so potent like incredible like shizandra is like a beauty tonic for your skin you're seeing better vision greater eyesight cleansing your cleansing organs like your liver etc shizandra is just oh my god i can't believe it. it's up there my top herbs it's one of the very few herbs that can work with all five systems at the same time it's called the five flavor berry it's incredible and goji berries are absolutely amazing for your eyes also man i'm telling you my eyes are like getting better having these teas and eating goji berries so i'm going to have goji berries and shizandra every single day and reishi is like spiritual mush the spiritual mushroom like as well as being they're all adaptogenic i just said there like they're all powerfully adaptogenic these all help build your jing energy, your reserve essence energy, your adrenal energy, your, what the Chinese call your kidney energy. Um, but, uh, yeah, Rishi helps you to be grounded, see the bigger perspective, have an inner calm, and maybe even to revitalize and energize your spirit, or just your, 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 your emotions um, with a sense of inner stability. In ancient China, the only emperor, or maybe the, the emperor would have maybe Rishi, and would send out many people to, to collect for Rishi. It, it became like a talisman, a symbol of the Chinese empire, where they'd have like Rishi decorations and like on top of the, the scepter where you'd hold, the king would hold like a little staff or a little walking stick, but it's not a walking stick of course. A, a real Rishi mushroom would be on top of it and then eventually over time it became wooden but it's extremely potent and revered in Chinese history it's the number one um, studied herb in the world apparently and Ho Shi Wu <laughs> that's like one of the strongest top top uh, Jing builder herbs in Chinese medicine it, it, it's a deep nourish of your kidney energy system your kidney system which is your reserve sexual and um, reserve uh, and sexual system your adrenal system your fight or flight your deep stores of reserve energy your cell integrity energy and the jujube dates i don't know i forget what they're from for maybe uh, i don't know i won't even bother telling you because i'm not really too sure really something good and simple but it doesn't come to mind right now oh there's see the wooden pieces that's a stragglers Astragalus root is like one of the best energy givers. It gives you lots of energy. Uh, it's just amazing adaptogenic. One of the best, most revered roots. It, for me, just crazy good. I don't know, I love astragalus. You can chew on it or you can make tea. I find personally when you, when you boil tea, it's called decoction. When you, when you steep herbs in hot water, that's called infusion. I'm infusing because I don't have a stove in this kitchen, so I'm just using my kettle to boil it and pour it in. If you're going to, usually you boil roots, usually you infuse or steep like stuff like loose tea, loose um, like leaf tea, like dandelion, nettle, oat straw, alfalfa, cleavers, all that type of tea. But what I do, if you want to do roots or hard things like mushrooms, which are supposed to boil, it's better to blend them into as small pieces as possible, even like a powdery substance, 
And then when you infuse, you get much stronger tea. At least this is what seems to happen in this tea. Because this tea knocks my socks off. I felt like euphoric yesterday and even today. It's, it hits your head like almost like you've been drinking alcohol, but it's different. <laughs> it just has that like powerful effect. Because this is made like a strong tea. Um, I, I use like around just over a litre or four, four cup measurements, which is a litre or a quart of water. And I used three, table, three big tablespoonfuls of Shizandra berry. Here's the red dates, jujube. Here's the, fo here's the um, hoshi wu, really hard root, boiled in black bean sauce, prepared. So here's the astragalus, the bark of a tree. And Here's a rishi, but I, I was looking for the shizandra, but it's over here. But the shizandra bears are so strong. So three tablespoons of shizandra, one tablespoon of goji's, and then I added more goji's. I added one tape, maybe around one or two tablespoons of rishi, and five red jujube dates, and I had maybe around one tablespoon of stragglers. We really made a strong tea, I gotta tell you. I don't know what else to say, because we're gonna end the video now, but just to say that this is like so strong, I can't believe it. It also gave me, it gave me definitely energy. It would have balanced and sort of tonified, like nourished a lot of my organs deep down. It's a strong tea, which is good for many, many parts of your body, including extremely regulating your immune system and strengthening your immune system. Your adaptogenic en um, energy to adapt to any stresses or like, things that come up in life, physically or mentally, emotionally. So, that's all I want to say, like, even if you, even a tablespoon of food, I'd be like, whoa. So I diluted this with some more Rishi tea and the loose goji berries, as you can see. So that's why I, everything else before that was blended. So it's a little bit less strong, but still strong. And it's definitely good for your mood. It's like, sometimes it's giggling like that. It actually reminded me when I was stoned many years ago, I got stoned. Man, that was bad. Like, I was in a kitchen with people smoking and the window and the door was closed and I ended up breathing loads of smoke from people smoking. Um, smoke, like fresh from Amsterdam, like green cannabis. <laughs> it just shuts off your thinking completely when I got stoned, but, but this doesn't really do that. It just hits your head a little bit of a different way. I don't like to be affected my head too much. That's why I diluted it. Like I don't drink or smoke. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you now. I'll see you in another video. And take care. Lots of love and blessings. Have a good day. Look after your health. Do inner healing and spirituality, and and life will be a lot better for you, happier and stuff. So, don't forget, I do one-to-one -on -one coaching. I have books for sale. But upon the release of this video, they're not for sale yet. But there will be three of them in 2013. Otherwise, if you want one-to-one coaching, you feel like any coaching. Links below. And if you need anything from my partner Sally, psychic readings and energy healings or mediumship work, check it below for our websites. Okay. Bye everyone. See you. Enjoy life and take care and uh, have fun with the herbs.